Corona. Hey everybody, Lewis here, Fire Jack Barbecue and other things. So today we're doing up some party wings. We're gonna do them up out in the uh, RSHAC testing facility. And uh, what's special about these wings is a company uh, that I've, that's here local, sent me some rubs. And I'm gonna try those uh, mild wing rub that they sent me. And then they sent me a uh, Southwestern style. We'll try both of those. I'm over here in the shade. Today is, uh, you know, second week in January and uh, it's probably about 45 degrees out here. So um, we'll get these wings all seasoned up and show you how I do that. Get the uh, kettle all fired up and uh, we'll have some fun making some wings. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have a bowl full of party wings. Now I've taken them and I've rinsed them off and patted them dry. So they're ready to be put on the uh, grill. So what we're gonna do is my friends over at Riley's Rubs, all right, what is it? Riley's Spice Company, and I'll have a link to their website for you to check them out. Um, they sent me some samples. They sent me some mild mild seasoning for wings because they know I can't handle this spicy but then they also sent me some southwest seasoning to try out so we're going to try both of these side we're going to put both of these on these wings and try them out uh, and see what they're like so what I've done so I've got a baking sheet here and I've got some racks set this rack down in here like that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these wings and I'm going to spread them out on here give them a little bit of room this is where we'll cue the music as I spread these out I might even dance for you I don't know Okay, there's our first pan. Let's get our second pan over here. Once again, this is all from Riley's Spice. You can find them online. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. All right, so now we got our two trays done. I'm gonna let them sit. I'm gonna go out and get the grill fired up and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got some Weber charcoal here. I have my little mini bowl on it. So what we're gonna do, I got this new product here. Um, I found this on Amazon. Bring it up so you can see it. And it's called uh, Eco-Friendly Fire Starters Grill Trade. Burning time, 10 minutes. We're gonna try, this is a box of 50, and I think it was like 20 bucks. So um, this is what they look like. We're gonna use one of these today. I'll try it out. So we'll get our fire starter down in there. Got my bottom vent wide open. Let's get a little opening thing. This hasn't been used in a while because it's been, there it goes. All right. And we'll just set our coals on there. We'll get them heated up. 
the plan is to get these going and then I have my home built vortex that I'm going to set in the middle and that's how we're going to do these wings today so we'll let this come up to temp and uh, we'll go from there okay it's been about 10 minutes these are not uh, you know blowing up flames like I was expecting but it's definitely uh, red down in there every now and then I see a spark um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these ready you know it said 10 minutes probably another five minutes and this thing would be uh, roaring like a flame and I have it full so what we're gonna do is pick this up I've got some unlit ones I'm gonna move over to the center that out of space. Now I'm going to take my vortex, set that in there, and I'm going to just kind of that in. And if we have to, we can add some more, but that's a good start. Set this out of the way. vent here, put that on there, put the lid on here, open that vent all the way, and we're going to give it about 10 more minutes, let it come up, heat this whole thing up, we'll clean those grates up, then we'll go from there, we're getting there. Alright, so what I want to do now is I'm just going to take some old vegetable oil and we're going to spray it all around this rack. I like it because it kind of helps clean it off. Just be careful when you're spraying over the vortex because that'll happen. You don't want that to happen. So we're going to give it a minute and then I'm going to scrub it off. Alright, scrub this off real quick. I'm going to glove up just a Steve. All right. Let's give another quick spray here, and then we'll get our wings on. It'll be wing time. Now I'm not really spraying over the center now because, you know, I'm not going to put any wings there. So let's get that over there. So. First group, we are going like this. Crunching up. I'm trying to keep them separated so that I know which ones are which. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to put the lid on and let them go for about 10 minutes and we'll flip them all. Be back in 10 minutes. Been 10 minutes. Time to rotate these wings. Put our glove on. Just in case. Probably don't need it, but those are looking fabulous. Mm. Alright, I'll be right back. Gotta get some gloves. Alright, I'm gonna try this again. 
Just gonna go on with our glove. All right, that looks like they're all flipped over. Get the lid back on. Let them go another 10 minutes. All right, let's have a look at these wings. Oh, man. Mm, those are looking awesome. Set that over there. I got my trusty little quick read here. See what kind of temps we're getting. About 170 on that one. Let's see out here. It's up at 170. How about over here? About 166. All right, let's get these off. My glove up. I'm going to put the lid back on so we don't lose some of our heat because of uh, it being winter. So I'm using a different mic this time. I actually have the little receiver down right here. Uh, let me know what you think when I go and edit this out. So tell me if you like the sound. I can make it, uh, you know, come up around my neck too. But we're just going to take all these and just throw them in here. Try not to burn our hands. <laughs> These are going to be good. I can tell that already. Coming out of here. That really works good with the cotton glove and then you put a latex over the top of it. Especially when you're moving fast like this. Mm. Alright. The jumper. All right. What do you think? <laughs> Can't wait to get into these. Let's get in and try these wings here. I like a fool. I didn't remember which one had what rub on it. So your guess is as good as mine. Got some napkins. Got a nice cold drink right there. Let's try it. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. This has got to be the uh, mild because there's a little bit of spice, but not, not like, you know, knocking me off my feet. And uh, a lot of people say ketchup is pretty spicy to me. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Uh. Yeah. Let's see if we can uh, gamble and try one of the uh, south southwestern ones here. See if this is southwestern. Mm. Ooh. Definitely a little heat to that one. Mm. But it is delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get my hands cleaned off, take a sip. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm composed. So, you saw how I did that with that beautiful seasoning from Riley Spice. Please check them out, they do an awesome job. They've got so many from fajitas to, you know, barbecue to any kind of dish that you may have. They have plenty of spices, so go, go check them out. So what I did is I just, uh, you know, rinsed off the party wings. They came from uh, Costco in a big pack. And uh, 
I rinsed them off, pat them dry, then you saw how I sprayed them down with vegetable oil and uh, put the seasoning on them, let them sit. They probably sat a good half hour um, before I had the grill all fired up using my uh, vortex that I made. Uh, you know, put that right in the center and put all the wings around the outside. Um, let it go 10 minutes, then I went out and flipped them. I let them go another 15 minutes at that point, and then I went out and started tamping and they were right there in between 165 up to 180, so right in that range that you want. Um, now, like I said, I didn't do the baking powder trick where you kind of mix it in and that adds the crust, uh, crispier crust on these. These are just straight up just, you know, skin on um, and they are delicious. And they're just bite right through. There's no, not a real crunch to them. Um, so anyhow, that's how I did it. They're perfect. Oh, and it, you know, a little bit of ranch on here for me because I'm a wimp. I admit it. I know it. Um, anyhow, like I always say, you can do this too. It's not that hard. Thank you for watching, my friends. Till next time. Real long.